hi guys good morning so welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to take you guys on another day in the life with me um so i literally just wake up not able to wash my face not brush my teeth yet and i think i'm gonna go for a walk this morning um it's saturday and i like to take walks on saturdays um usually i go for sprints um but i don't feel like doing that so i'm gonna take a like a ledger walk the air is so crisp and so nice so i feel like yeah i should probably go walk um i don't think it's gonna rain this morning so yeah let's go for a walk So when I looked at the weather report this morning, it didn't say any form of rain was going to happen. And guess what? Rain come down, look for my shirt, my wet, and my fair shelter under a tree. <laughs> and somebody else done this uh, shelter under a tree too. The rain is coming down hard um, See that? Literally a dropping on my eye. What's a dropping on my eye? Quite a distance from home. And the thing is that there's not much places on this road that has shelter um, for us to actually walk and shelter under there to get home. So. This is my favorite lotion of all time, Nivea. It makes the skin look so good um, and so moisturized. So don't sleep on this lotion, you guys. It's very expensive, but it's worth it, I promise you. So on Saturdays, I like to be super, super comfortable. Um, super, super comfortable every single day. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. Uh, Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid to moisturize my skin. I'm also going to add some of the Simple um, SPF 30 uh, to it as well. Because you all know that you must ensure that you have SPF um, in your skincare routine. So yeah, on Saturdays I like, I love to be comfortable. Um, if it left to me, I wear sweats like literally all day. Every chance I get, I'd have on um, sweats. So I'm actually, my hair is kind of really pull up right now. So I'm actually going to take it down later and wash it and stuff tomorrow. But yeah, um, let me at least lay my edges. Uh, <laughs> because let me at least lay my edges because my hair kind of fuzzy it's time to get washed um, <clears throat> and I think my sebderm is acting up right now so I need to take it down and wash it so um, 
what I'm using for my my friend actually put me onto this. I'm using the Fashion Plus Wax Plus Wax Gum Wax, and I remember when these never have no use at all. I actually have one same way. Let me show you. I have this one, and it no what nothing. All it do is smell good. It no work nothing. But this one for your edges, it really works. Like edges be laid all all day, all day. So and it cheap. It was two hundred and seventy dollar, I believe. So it kind of worth. It worth it. It worth it. So yeah, at least laying my edges. Cause I headed out to the store right now um, to do something real quick and then I go finish up the rest of the errands that I have to, to run today. Going to the supermarket to pick up one and two things and then I'm gonna go get water. I have some packages to pick up. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Don't know what else is on the agenda yet. But yeah, I'm bringing you guys with me so you'll know. Check on the music up a little bit. You know one of the things that I really, really miss? Um having to wear a mask is lip gloss and my lips have been so so dry it's annoying because I don't get to wear anything I don't get to put anything on my lips and it's so dry the only thing I put on my lips these days is like aquifer and maybe a lip balm and that's it because I have to wear a mask so not even makes sense put on some perfume I wanted to show you guys that my perfume that I've been loving these days um, it's a Kali Vanilla 28. I bought the Discovery set because I decided that I'm no longer buying big perfumes. Um, I'm going to buy a small one, test it out first, and then if I really like it, then I'll buy the bigger one. But this guy smells so amazing. So amazing. And I got some samples with it as well. And the samples, whew, so good as well. So yeah, that's me going downstairs, get something to eat, and then head out. First, I'm having like a tuna sandwich with um with plantains in there. I'm having um, apple juice. Um, I found this apple juice in the supermarket that's uh, light and it doesn't have as much sugar. I think like 12 grams of sugar, and it tastes so good. So I've been buying it ever since. But my husband gave me way too much food. He knows I'm not eat more than the one sandwich, so yeah. All right, so here's the OOTD of the day. This shirt uh, is from Pretty Little Thing, I think. Yeah, I think so. And these sweats, I've had them for years. This is from um, Forever 21. Love them, they're so comfortable. I wish that they'll actually bring them back and I'm wearing my vans they are super worked but they still look good considering I've had them for maybe what five six years so yeah this is my comfy look of the day All right, so this is me in my element at work. Um, one thing about business, being a business owner, is that like you have to legit be a jack of all trades. And I mean, like if you never used to cook before, you have to start cook. Depending on the business, if you run a restaurant or a cafe or whatever it is, um, you realize that you have to step in more and. Oftentimes, like your staff or you know people that don't know you might think say oh being a business owner is like a walk in the park um, You don't have to do anything. I feel like you have to do the most work when you're a business owner and I had a 
like a misconception when I was growing up that yo business owners I want to be a business owner anybody can tell you growing up I've always said I wanted to be a business owner and coming into business and understanding what it is like and all of those things like I'm like oh, do I really want to continue doing this and I'm like being very very open and honest with you guys that's how I feel sometimes because it is a lot of work it is a lot of work a lot of see um work goes on behind the scenes and there are times when like especially with covid having a challenging time with covid and stuff you find that you have to like um re-innovate some stuff switch up some stuff change up some stuff and a lot of time that comes down on the business owner because having to put those 150 percent more now than before because of everything that's going on. Yo, it's been crazy. So, you see me just some make fritters? Yeah? We had to add the fritters. We had to add porridge and so on and so forth in order for like meet with expenses and you know, meet our bills, all of those things, pay our staff. So, it's a it has been a very challenging time, but a time that you've learned to really like step out of your comfort zone and do the best you can to ensure say yo anything that you're doing or anything that i'm doing is flourishing so yeah i wanted to show you guys like a peek into what my day looks like and basically this is kind of it kind of ish just a little bit of it water pickup is done and i'm headed to the courier right now to pick up my packages because i think some packages reached today and then after the courier i think i'm going to get some food because i'm starving don't know where i'm going to get some fish today but i feel for some fish today and plus my little vegan place is not open today so i have to find something else so I don't know where I can get some good fish because Mandeva is so lacking in that department man it's so annoying but yeah get some food and then I'm going to do a um, supermarket run and then I think that's the last stop before I go home yeah full full day you guys are getting a full full day situation um yeah <sighs> Next step, next step supermarket and get some food for myself. I don't want it clean. I'm always around me doing a tub of clean my headlights. I'm not cleaning my headlights. sandals on forever 21 and I just buy like three of them nothing fancy smanchy just like regular regular um, sandals like these and one thing I find is um, I normally don't have an issue with um, Forever 21 sandals 
them normally like last long. Other one I got is this color. So both of them is basically the same. I got it in black and I got it in nude. I think these were like $9 I think or something like that. But I like them. They're cute. It has this um crocodile skin or I don't know if a crocodile skin or is it. What's it called? Um, snake skin. Not sure. But if you guys don't know if I've never mentioned it before, I'm a size 10. Oh, and I also got this one. A clear sandal. Uh, I felt like I needed to get one of these clear sandals because I keep seeing them everywhere. Uh, try this on. Yep, it fits, it fits. Look cute. Look pretty cute on my foot too. Hey guys, so I just got done um, doing a uh, film in a house for you guys that should go up on monday um this vlog will go up on sunday so um i'm basically on my way to work again to like check off and close up on all of those things so i think i'm going to end this vlog right here thank you guys for staying throughout the entire thing um thank you guys for all the support thank you for watching thank you for sharing commenting all of that good stuff until next time i'll catch you in the next video bye